Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Derek here. We are back reacting to the season finale of Star Wars The Bad Batch. This is technically this, the part part two of the two-part finale. This one is called Camino Lost. Uh, and as evidenced by the title, Camino has gone by the wayside. Uh, what we left off with last time is we found out one... Crosshair has been acting according to his own free will kind of this whole time. And he's kind of just been a dick. <laughs> um, they knocked him unconscious and they're taking him with him. Uh, but the Empire decided to fire on Kamino with their Star Destroyers and essentially level this whole city. So that's where we left off. We're going to try and see if, if our crew can can survive somehow. Now, before we jump into this, please consider leaving a like on the video and please consider subscribing. That means the world to me, helps my videos get seen more. Yeah, subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if full length reactions are something that interests you, consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all of my full uncut reactions in watch along format. So you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. There you can also become a super supporter and get featured in every single one of my videos. Um, but other than that, I'm super pumped. Let's jump into the season finale of Star Wars The Bad Batch. <laughs> He's just so pleased with himself, watching this city burn. This thing's going into the ocean, man. They are not gonna stop, eh? God dang. Oh, Crosshair seems to be awake. Oh no. God, that is beautiful. Been destroyed, sir. All Kaminoan facilities have collapsed into the sea. That sounds like a clone. Okay, this guy's still kicking. That's good. We want him to live. I like him a lot. I do not wish to alarm you, but if you do not vacate this compartment, you will soon perish, and I will be left here on my own. He will soon perish. Yo, what wrecker? Use your massive arms. Is she gonna activate her special ability? Is she just tactical or are we gonna learn some dope info about her? Well, that's almost working. It worked. He just slowly slides out. Sad. She's watching her entire life just go into the water. Eventually they're going to get so deep that swimming up isn't going to be an option really. Camino has sunk. Cross, are you coming or what? Let's go, dude. Yes. Don't be stubborn right now. Ironically, our old barracks is one of the few 
compartments habitable, albeit temporarily. This is our room. Yeah, it's not gonna have much oxygen soon. All those missions together, and you threw it away. We made a choice. So did you. Soldiers follow orders. Blind allegiance makes you a pawn. A real leader protects his squad. Look where that's gotten you. Well, you followed orders, and look where it's gotten you. We landed on the underwater tunnel. <laughs> that's convenient. This might work. What do you mean, might? Eh, you're, what you're doing is reckless, <laughs> essentially. Oh, well, it worked. So jump in and get your booty moving. You know, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this mess. Something on your tiny mind, Rick. Okay, don't be a dick. All that time, you didn't even try to come back. We still would have taken you. Let it go, Rekka. Crosshair has always been severe. Why are you defending me? I am not. Understanding you does not mean that I agree with you. True facts. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Giant lizard thing. How are you going to get up? You got to open that door somehow. And then you just got to maybe let the water come in so it can rise you to the top. No. No, don't, don't touch that. That's the wrong thing. Got the power on. Albeit briefly. Omega says this is where our mutations were manipulated and enhanced. How would she know? Because she was, she was there. Yeah, she was there. Omega was created before us. Technically, she is older than we are. That's crazy. She's still a little kid. I guess she didn't have the mutation to age quickly. Maybe that means she's going to be a kid forever. What's wrong? My battery cells are depleting. I Maybe Sid could come help? Inconvenience. Long range comms in town. Oh, oh never mind. Be critical. That's your problem, Hunter. You take things too personal. Bruh, you're, you are mad that they abandoned you. They did what needed to be done. You're the one taking yeah. things personally. Yes. Don't fool yourself. All you'll ever be to them is a number. Ooh, getting these, these things. Are our way out of here. Yeah. If our mass is evenly distributed, the buoyancy of these watertight chambers will bring us to the surface. Medical capsules have not been tested for uh, I'm out of this thing. Quick complaining. <laughs> He's just giant. I have accessed my reserve power. We must hurry. Yeah, you gotta charge this guy. Use your flashlight power. Gotta be pretty good with uh, making sure they don't hit stuff. Doing great, AZ. Oh no. He's not gonna make it back up, is he? All his power. Except he's gonna, he's running out of juice. She'll survive, but he won't. 
Oh, this is like the Titanic. He's just gonna fade back. that droid back. <laughs> oh. You better be hella good at holding your breath. <laughs> Bruh. Don't you dare try and shoot him. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Turns out he can see through that water. He thought about it. He thought about it. I suggest we stop paddling. They're in like little canoes. <laughs> Thank God that AZ lived. I was a legit about to start crying. <laughs> He's only been in like two episodes, but I friggin' love that droid. has to go with right like how else is he supposed to get off planet or I guess if he if the Empire Scouts come here so he's just gonna wait here for the Empire Thank you for saving AZ. did one good thing Give him a hug. You're still their brother, Crosshair. You're my brother, too. Bruh. I want him to turn back to the good side. <sighs> He's just all alone. Who would that be? Who are you? Who you is? Welcome. Why do you look like we such a dork? The Empire has big things planned for you. I'm sure they do. Don't end here. Damn it, Dave. <laughs> Pissing me off with episodes ending. Okay, okay, okay. That was a good, good finale. A very em emotional finale. Just the whole journey of them trying to escape from this, like, underwater coffin, prison type, you know. This, this is where people die if they stay down there. Like, it's like the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. If you're trapped, you're trapped, and you, and you die. Um, Omega has to <laughs> has to save Crosshair from drowning. Um, meanwhile, like AZ is losing power throughout, and they're just they're trying to make it through. And they get to the tubes, and there's a big giant fish monster, and they're just it's just like a struggle the whole way through. And the whole time, you know, Crosshair is subtly throwing shade at them and they're kind of th throwing shade back like he he is still so set on like the idea of the empire and and the role that he can play in it and they're like yo that's not the right thing <laughs> and he he takes that as like them abandoning him but like you know they kind of throw it back they're like hey we both made choices 
you made the choice to not come with us. Um, but like they still consider him a brother. Like <laughs> Omega's almost like trying to play peacemaker. She's like, you guys are friends and brothers. You love each other. Hug it out. <laughs> It's just like, like, it's just so sad. Meanwhile, she's watching her entire life, like, sink and burn. And it's just like, oh, just rough stuff. Um, they almost don't make it out. Um, AZ comes up with a nifty little plan with their, their, the tubes they essentially grew up in, I believe. The tubes they were created in save their lives and bring them to the surface. AZ almost died. I was like, no. I started to tear up. I was like, no, it was like the Titanic when she, you know, Jack just drifts back. He started drifting. It started to get darker and crosshair. Bless his gray heart, <laughs> his his morally gray heart. Bless him. Saves AZ. You know, AZ's only been in like, what, two episodes this season? Like the first episode. Maybe, I think he was in the second one as well, maybe. So like, at max he's been in three episodes this season and i cared more about him dying than anything else in this episode which is kind of crazy um yeah and then yeah they, they get to their ship and it's just like a bittersweet moment because like they they all lived and they survived and they had to kind of get along temporarily but in the end crosshair is still choosing the empire but he has it he has serious doubts it seems like like he's he's their words I think got to him um and Omega's words got to him like one they all saved his life multiple times when they didn't need to um and Omega is like bro they're still your brothers Wrecker even was like we'd still take you back <laughs> it's like oh I want Crosshair to just like I want him to just like I want his storyline next season to be like him seeing things in the Empire that dissuade him from wanting to be part of it. Like, like, uh, like um, Hunter said, like, you'll always be just a number to them. I want, you know, I don't want to see people like be rude to him and just like treat him like just another number. But I want him to realize that those words are true. And I hope by the end of next season... You know, maybe he'll play somewhat of a neutral role regarding the Bad Batch, right? Like, maybe there will be situations where he could stop them if he wanted to, and maybe he doesn't. Um, and then by the end of next season, maybe he turns fully back to the good side. That would be, you know, satisfying. I hope that's true. Um, and But, like, some of his words probably hit close to home for the Bad Batch when he was telling them, he was like, bro, if you want to keep this girl safe, quit letting her hang out with you. Like, you're doing dangerous stuff. <laughs> um, and she's still a little kid, and she's not going to get any older, right? Because she ha she's older than them, and they're all grown, like, grown adults, and she's still this, like, kid. So it doesn't seem, unless her growth time period is like hyper slowed down you know it seems like she's gonna be a kid for a long time so things are still gonna be dangerous for her um so they might take that to heart and maybe send her off with like Sid and and, and Gregor and see what happens there um I'm interested to see how that storyline progresses next season um I'm pumped that they saved AZ because you know every every star wars show you need a, a kind of like sassy little droid to be on your team you know clone wars it was r2 and c3po rebels it was chopper and now uh looks like bad batch is gonna have az on the team love it um i also wouldn't mind if like cad bane's droid <laughs> joined them i liked his uh his little companion a lot as well but yeah overall this episode was just a kind of like a bittersweet survival episode you know they they got the job done and they lived and they survived but everyone's just kind of sad at the end of it you know they they all saw kind of everything that they held true you know get destroyed and
burn and sink and is now buried and dead in, at the bottom of Camino. Um, so overall, uh, in terms of the whole season, I enjoyed it. Um, I, you know, obviously didn't have the same emotional impact as like season seven of Clone Wars because we'd spent seven seasons plus multiple prequel movies and even some sequel movies with these characters. So like, uh, you know, the, that hit real hard, season seven. These guys, we've only really known them for this full season and then uh, the three or four episodes at the end, beginning of, of season seven. So we still have a lot of emotional growth to um, to come with these characters and hopefully hopefully this show goes for a while you know at least two seasons hopefully three four five six seven i don't know ten seasons um you know i i don't imagine it would go for super long because you know there is a definitive stopping point right like unless they're gonna say that like they lived but just didn't appear in any future main events that we've seen presumably there is a point at which this storyline ends similar to clone wars you know eventually if you keep going <laughs> you reach the point where you can't tell new stuff so um maybe they'll transition some of these characters to live action that would be pretty interesting because we've we've already seen some characters go from animated to live action um but yeah i overall i enjoyed the season omega was not annoying <laughs> which is good um she seemed competent when she needed to be um and she wasn't like a snotty little kid like because technically she's older than them so she was very mature for being a, a kid um and i enjoyed her accent quite a bit i enjoyed the camaraderie between the brothers and i enjoyed the overall like tension um between having them and a brother that is lost and maybe hopefully will come back soon um plus like this this series also had a had almost like a creeping sense of like overwhelming dread because like these guys are fighting against something that we know is coming and we know that it is like successful so like seeing all like these guys specifically but then all the other clones that we've seen so far like fighting against this encroachment of like the stormtroopers and them being phased out um added a nice sense of foreboding <laughs> um overall though i i think i'd give the the first season in seven and a half or an eight uh there were some episodes especially early on you know episodes like four through seven or some i don't i don't know the, don't know the exact numbers um or like the infested episode where it's like filler surprisingly though not as much filler <laughs> as uh as some of uh the clone wars episodes i mean technically that whole series <laughs> is filler but it's not like actual filler because there's lots of important things that happened uh this one this series only had a little bit of filler like minimal filler uh it seemed like each chunk each each episode or at least each chunk of episodes had some sort of crucial story point that moved things forward or they were just you know character building getting to know the, the players involved so overall i really enjoyed it hopefully if you guys if you are you know hopefully if you're one of the 50 people that have have been watching uh my bad batch reactions hopefully you enjoyed this season as well hopefully you enjoyed my reactions uh let me know what you thought of this season uh down below in the comments what, what are you looking forward to next season um yeah if you liked the video leave a like on it helps my channel out a ton um subscribe if you want to see any more reactions to any other show that i'm watching marvel's what if started this week so that's fun um some interesting series coming up as well so uh, keep an eye out on that and ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. I might start uh, My Hero Academia back up again now that this show is ending and, and maybe a few other shows are ending here soon as well. So look out for that possibly. 
Uh, and then if, if full length reactions are something that interests you, consider uh, supporting me on Patreon. I post all of my full uncut reactions in watch along format. So you just sync up your own copy and you can watch along with me. There you can also become a super supporter and get featured in every single one of my videos. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching. It has been a great season with you all. I, I got a little behind at one point, but I'm caught back up. Hopefully I'm just going to post all three of these episodes in the next three days or something like that. So um, again, thank you for watching. I will catch you guys in the next series. Uh, but yeah, peace.